from It's the, 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 the Tom Micah Show. Okay. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. If you're going to need it, it's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being a part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. I don't believe this advice column. An advice column from a newspaper in St. George, Utah, called The Daily Spectrum. It's called Ask Dr. Scott. And here is the question for Dr. Scott. I need to know if I'm just being a naggy wife. Or if my husband needs to change. My husband and I have been married for less than a year, and I'm not so happy with how it's going. I really love him, and I want things to work out, but I don't know if he is as committed to me and my son from a previous marriage, oh boy, as I need him to be. He wants to have his boys night out all the time. And that bothers me. Most Friday nights, he leaves us alone to hang out with his buddies until well into the morning, around 5 or 6 a.m. I don't really like his friends either. I think they're trashy. Is it okay for me to expect him home more? Am I a nag? Thanks. Nelly, I don't really care about Dr. Scott's response to this. Let me give you my response because we get calls like this fairly frequently. And I just want to say this. Not only are you being a naggy wife, you bitch, but also you knew what you were marrying. You knew what kind of person this was. You knew. You just thought it was going to change. Like an idiot. Are you telling me suddenly over the past year he decided he needed boys night out? No, he didn't. He always had boys night out. Now, if you were mature enough to get married, clearly you already been married before, and that didn't work out so well. If you were mature enough to be getting married, you would have had a conversation with him, and you would have said, now, when we get married, is it going to continue or not? And then if he said it was, if you were really mature, you would say, okay, see ya. Why do women keep trying to get us to change? Stop it, ladies. Stop trying to get us to change. We're not going to change. By the way, you say in here, Nelly, you don't really like his friends either. Let me just say this. Your friends are you. They are a reflection of who you think you are, how you feel about yourself, what your needs are. You pick friends who fulfill your needs. By looking at a man's friends, and a woman's friends for that matter, I can tell what kind of person he is. 
It's really easy. If you don't like his friends, you don't love him. How can you expect a man to get rid of his friends? His friends may be trashy or who knows what they are. You know what? Who his friends are are none of your business. You know when it was your business? Before you got married. When you meet a guy and you don't like his friends... You tell him point blank, I don't like your friends, and therefore this relationship is over. Why can't people be mature enough to do this? Why do people think they've got the power to change other people? You don't have the power to change other people. This woman is spinning her wheels, writing letters, probably talking to her mother, her sisters, her best friend. Don't you think I'm being reasonable? Don't you think they're telling him he has to get rid of his friends, stop going out for anything? Don't you think? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that's only fair, don't you? I think it's fair, don't you? Shut up! Why did you get married? You're an immature little girl, whoever you are. You shouldn't be married. By the way, should a guy get married if he wants to continue going out every Friday night till four in the morning? No! He's too young and immature to be married as well. But you have got to be kidding me. Is there anyone out there who thinks this woman is being reasonable? Married less than a year, wants her husband to stop having boys night out on Friday nights. Wants her husband to lose all his friends because they're trashy. Anybody think she's being reasonable? Anybody side with her? Maybe you have a guy like this and you're trying to deal with this problem right now. If you think this is reasonable, I want to hear from you and obviously... I know I'm going to hear from you if you don't think it's reasonable. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I'm not paying anybody's student loans off. I'm not paying anybody's car payments. I'm not helping anybody pay the mortgage on their grandmother's uh, house. I'm not doing it. That's straight Tom preaching. It's the Tom Like It Show. Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. All right, what is it with these women who, uh, like the woman in the advice column we read you early, get married and then complain that, you know, the new husband wants to go out on Friday nights or he has lousy friends. What is that all about? Sergio on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi there. Good afternoon. Thank you for taking my call. Yes. How are you today this beautiful afternoon? I'm doing fantabulous. Great. Super. Okay. Um, I'm 32 years old. I've uh, been in a relationship with uh, with my girlfriend for seven years. Um, she's 44, going on 45. What? Yeah. Why'd you do and, that? I'm sorry? Why did you do that? You know what? I ask myself that question now because of the circumstance. Um, I can't, I'm not allowed to invite my friends over. I'm not. What do you mean? Allowed. Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean you're not allowed? Yeah, I mean, she'll she'll just, you know, like, go, you know, not out of control, but her voice will start to escalate and stuff when I tell her, hey, I'm going to go over here to my friend's house and hang out for a while. And, well, what are you going to do over there? Well, who's over there? You know, why do you need to go over there? Is there somebody that you need to impress and all kinds of junk like that? Why Why do you listen? Honestly, I, I, I just, I know, I know I'm going to get, you know, egged for this, but I, I honestly, I, I don't know. I really don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I don't know. I, I, I can honestly say that um, that I've had my fair share of, of, of her uh, actions and her 16-year-old son as well that 
tries to walk around the house like he rules the roost. And Why do you like tolerate that. any of this? Do you live with her? Yes. Why? I wish I didn't, to be honest with you. Well, why don't you end it now? I honestly feel like I should. Stop feeling and start doing. Why haven't you done it? I, I honestly don't have an don't have an answer for you because, I mean, as as the as the days unfold, I think about it more and more, and so I get, I get you know, as the days go by, I get my head more and more more and more straightened out and and start to, I don't know if this is going to make sense or not, but gain the strength to get up and walk out. What what strength does it have? By the way, are you at her place or is she at yours? I'm sorry? Are you living in what used to be her house or is she living in yours? Uh, No, we're renting a townhouse uh, together. Why'd you do that? Uh... I, I I really don't know, but I just what I do know is I who pays I, I the rent. A, I, I I need to get out of there pretty pretty quick. Who pays the rent? I would have to say I do. Why? Well, we thought we thought we were going to be in a relationship and things were going to work out and be, you know, equal. On both sides, but it's it's obviously not working that way. It never works that way. Women will expect you to pay. And that's honestly what's been happening for the past seven years. Why did you tolerate that? Because there's, because sometimes you get a second wind and you think that, that things will be okay, but then they're not. Things don't get better. They only get worse. If you're lucky, they stay the same. Isn't that right? Definitely right. Things when did it start going? When did it start easy. going downhill for you? What's that? When did it start going downhill? Let me guess. The minute the ink was dry on your lease. Um. No. I think. Let's see. I think it started going downhill when when I decided that I wasn't going to be the stepdaddy to her son and stuff like that, when I didn't want to be part of that. You, well, you already are, because she could never afford to play at a place like this for them to live. No, she can. Without me, I, I would say that that a she, lot of things wouldn't be possible. That, well, what else do you pay for? Let me guess. The utilities? Uh, cell phone. Groceries, groceries. What? Well, let's let's make this simple. What does she pay for? Um, to be honest with you, I, I'm. It's it's supposed it's supposed to be straight down the middle, but I don't think. No, it is because what most is she go into one account? What is she paying for? I, I I don't know. Like I said, it's supposed to be split down the middle, but since both checks go into one account, why do you let that happen? You're not married. No, I'm not. So why yeah, do you I let that happen? happen in my life? So why don't you, why don't you change it effective immediately? Uh, you're putting your check in your own account. Yeah, that's what I should do. And and another snag is that I've I've been trying to to purchase a home by myself, and finally it's it's gone through. So that's and she knows about that as well now because right the mortgage broker called me and said, hey, guess what? You're approved. You've got good credit and everything, and you know, and it won't be very much longer before you can go out and start hunting for a home. What do you think? I said, that's great. But now she knows about it too, and I think that she'll probably try to finagle her way to. Well, her she can only home. finagle if you allow her to finagle. Yeah, and I really don't. I mean, I don't that's your to opportunity leave. to leave. That's the best thing to do. Well, of course it is. How long is your lease? Um, actually, we're not we're not locked into a lease. You can pretty much walk out with giving a thirty day notice. Why don't you just give your thirty day notice right now? You know, the more and more I I, I, I just. 
things just come more and more realistic to me as the days go by. Because, see, I'm a truck driver. I've been doing this for 14 years. And I'm responsible. I pay taxes and everything else. And it's just the more and more I see my money slip away, the more, you know, it just, I just want to, I just want to. Imagine what kind of down payment you could have put on that house if you weren't wasting it on her kid. I just don't, I don't understand. I mean, there's times that I like put on, you know, some, some nice clothes. I'm not a rich millionaire or anything, but you know, I've have, I own some decent things and, you know, shower, shave, and put something nice on, and I'm just about ready to walk out the door. Where are you going dressed like that? Who are you going to go see? All kinds of stuff like that. Because she's afraid you'll find somebody else to pay for their townhouse. Well, I don't think I'd, I'd, I'd do this. I, I would commit the well, same she to doesn't. Well, she doesn't know that. You're a sucker as far as she's concerned. I would have to agree. So if you're free to go on 30 days' notice... You could give your notice now, and the first of the next full month, that's the day you're gone. Yeah. I just don't understand why why women do this. Do which? Want to, uh, want, in, in some matters, not all women, but some, want to hold a guy hostage. Because guys like you let them. And there's so many other ones out there as well. And you don't have to let them live in your home. Yeah. Hang on a second here, Sergio. Stay right there. Let me get Sal on the air. Sal, what did you want to say to Sergio? Hey, what's up, Tom? This is Sal. Um, long-time listener, first-time caller, bro. Hey, all I want to tell Sergio is that, dude, why are you... Like bothering with a chick that has a kid, dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, man. You got a man up, dude. Listen to Tom. I'm gonna have to. Dude, why the why the heck are you gonna like just inherit a problem, man? Yeah, I'm gonna have to pack it up and split. Bro, just cut the ties. Get the hell out, dude. That's the best thing to do. Is there any more decent women out there anymore? Hell Who right. cares? Who cares? All you need to do is F you. I don't care if they're completely indecent as long as they don't have the key to my house. Yeah. And why do you care? Are you one of these guys who has to fall in love? Stop it. Yeah. Look what you fell in love with. A bitch. <laughs> You're laughing now. <laughs> Jose, what did you want to say to Sergio? Sergio, DTB, dump the bitch, bro. Grow a sack. <laughs> Move out. I'm going to have to. I'm a 30-year-old electrician, bro. I'm 30 years old, and you know what? You don't need to be with a 45-year-old bitch, bro, and put up with her kid. Yeah. All right. Sounds to me like you're a pushover, bro. Sounds to me like you. It can't be have good, to pack bro. it up and split, definitely. Hey, well, do it. Do it. Get the hell out of there. I'll I'll do it for the team. Do it for yourself, for Christ's sake, Nick. What did you want to say to Sergio? Tom, I love you. And, Sergio, you know what? If you're already calling in complaining about your life, you already answered your own question, brother. Yeah. You're, already saying, you're already saying that she's taking advantage of you and that this isn't going to go anywhere. Believe me, man. Tom, listen to Tom and listen to what he has to say because the man speaks the truth. Tom, can you take me out with a uh, thank you, Jesus? I certainly can. Thank you, Jesus. All right, now are you hearing all this, Sergio? I mean, I'm not the only one saying this. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm taking. I'm not only am I listening, but I'm, I'm, I'm taking it all in, and I'm gonna follow your guys' advice because I'd like to get my own life back on track and, you know, get out there and, and experience, you know, of course, new women and and. 
bigger and better things. You need to get your stuff out of that house into a storage unit. Yeah. Like as soon as possible. Definitely. You're going to have to. Do you have any friends who would take you in for a little while until you set yourself up in your new place? Oh, I've got money for a new place that I have stashed aside that she doesn't know about. And you have to lie to her about your money, too. You know. But by the way, well, first things first, how much is in that bank account you share with her? Um, well, the, the money pretty much goes in and out quite fre quite frequently. Because well, don't, I, do, I, don't you be putting any more in there? No, 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 no. No. And if there's anything in it, take your share. I definitely take it. will. Go to the ATM immediately and clean it. And I have to. Get yourself a new house. There's, have you looked around? You see how many houses being foreclosed? Do you know how many houses are available at low, low prices right now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I've definitely looked into that. I mean, like I said, I'm not a rich guy, but, you know, I qualify for, you know, well, in the area that I live in, I live in Northern California. I live in, I live up near San Jose, and there's three and four bedroom homes going for uh, about 185 up there. Grab one. I'm definitely going to do that. Hang on a second. Let me get Robert in here. Robert, what did you want to say to Sergio? Hey, Sergio, can I borrow $50,000 from you until my friend straightens out? Of course not. <laughs> well, Bob, you say yeah to everything. You just like somebody lit steps on you. Does that hurt? Yeah. And you just live like that. You're a bonehead. Yeah, I can be sometimes. Yeah, I see you agree with everything. Get your webos. Take them out of her purse and put them back on you and say something about it. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. I'm listening. You got to do it, man. I'm going to have to fight if I'm going to move on to bigger and better things. You're calling Tom and asking for help. Now take his advice or else it's all worth nothing. I'll take it. You're hurting all of us by acting like this. So grow up. Definitely will. Bye. Let's do it. Bye-bye. Thanks, Robert, Tom. thank you. Now, are you really going to do it, Sergio? Honestly, yeah. When? As soon as I get home. Really? Yeah. No drama? No drama. No, I mean, you hear what I'm saying? No, don't put her in a position where she can call the cops. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm not a... A violent person or hit women or anything like no, that. No, just... no, no. I'm talking about her. Oh well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, have to, you know, do it, do it the smart way, of course. So that you're gonna like do that. it when yeah. she's not. You're gonna do it when she's not there. When she's at work. Right. And then I can get in, uh, in and out of there. Get your stuff out. All right. Tell your landlord you're out as of the end of next month. Okay. Done. Done. I'll call you uh, guys And back. here's the other thing. Here's the other thing to make sure to do, okay? Uh, okay? If the utilities are in your name? No, 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 they're in her name. <laughs> but you pay them? Yeah. Stop paying. We'll see what they do without electricity. Right. <laughs> Hang on a second here. Wait a minute. Uh, hang on a second here. Let me get uh, Robert. Robert, what did you want to say to Sergio here? Hey, listen, Sergio. Th that guy said it, you know, as clear as you could be, man. You need to grow a sack, man. You're, you're making all your decisions based on emotion. I was with a girl for five years. I know the, the sound of your voice is exactly how the sound of my voice was when I used to talk to my buddies. You know, just like you're scared of, you, you fear like what she's, what's going to happen. Don't worry about that. You know, that kid's not yours. You're not married, right? No. No. -uh. You no alimony, man. You don't got to pay uh, vagina money or whatever you call it. You know, get out, man. Don't don't be so don't be fearful of what's going to happen. Get, you you already got to prove for your own place on your own, not with her, right? Right. By myself. Yeah. My credit went through. I was. They called me. Uh, on Thursday afternoon. You know what? That's the sign, man. That's the sign that you've been looking for to be independent, to be a man. 
Not don't don't you don't need somebody. Don't you know? I always, I always felt like I needed this person because you know I, I don't want to be alone. And how long is it going to take me to find somebody? Don't worry about that, man. Go have a blast. Go get your own place. Be a bachelor. Have fun. Good times with your buddies. By the way, Sergio, let me ask you a couple of important questions. Okay. Uh, is that is that checking account the two of you have the only bank account you have together? Yes. Do you have any credit cards together? No. So, do you use credit cards? I don't have any at all in my own name. Everything's in her name, pretty in her name, pretty much. And you use her credit cards? Um, no, I don't ask her for them. Um, she she uses them like on her kids once in a while. But I don't ask which her which for is her. paid for out of your joint account. Yeah, to, yeah, to pay for for the monthly statement. Yes. Ugh. That's well. That's what credit cards have as a monthly statement. Yeah. That statement represented stuff she bought and paid for with your money. Yeah, I guess that's what happens when you think with the wrong head, huh? That's right. But when's the last time you got laid good? Probably five years ago. <laughs> right. Um. No, a couple of days ago. A couple of days ago? You're still having sex with her? Yeah. Why? Uh, it's, it's good for you. Yeah, well, let me tell you what's not good for you. What What if the condom, are you using a condom? No. Why not? She's uh, had a hysterectomy years ago. That's what she told you. Not to mention the fact that she's going to go berserk if you're having sex with her and then you leave. Yeah. I think so. You have to stop having sex with her, stop putting money in the bank account, take your half of the money out of the bank account, and get that stuff out of there when she's not there. On top of that, don't give her your new address, your new phone number, nothing. Just pack it on up and go. That's right, because you don't want her coming over and causing a scene at your new place, wherever that might be. All right. Very unceremonious an end to that conversation for Christ's sake. Tom, 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 like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 I just have a problem with you calling women dumb bitches. I don't see where you get off. Well, I only do it when they are dumb bitches. Yeah, but it's just such a derogatory term. You cannot find any other words in your vocabulary just to express how you feel. Oh, yeah. Dumb whores, uh, stupid broads. There's plenty of words in my vocabulary. You're not even uh, I'm a, Why are you on I'm, the radio? This is I'm over the hill slots. I mean, I'm, I'm like a thesaurus. I got plenty of words. It's the Dumb Like It Show. Hey. Top like your show. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. We started off this hour talking about a letter to an advice column. The title on the column, by the way, was "What to Do If Your Husband Won't Grow Up." And a young married woman writes in, she's been married less than a year. She's already been married once before. She's got a kid from a previous marriage. And she's upset that in this uh, less than a year she's been married, her husband continues to go out on boys' night out on Friday night. Hangs out with his buddies till 5 or 6 a.m. And she doesn't like his buddies. And I say, why in the world are you married? <laughs> why did you marry him? What made you think he was going to change? What makes women think we're going to change? Anybody think she's being reasonable here? 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Stephanie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm doing okay. Well, a couple of things. I first initially called because of the topic at hand, but then I sat back and had to listen to that guy for, what, 20 minutes you talked to him? I couldn't even believe you gave him that much time. Clearly, the gentleman 
well, gentlemen, he doesn't have a job. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. He's sitting on the phone with you. Well, that doesn't he, mean he doesn't have a job. He's a trucker. Okay, he's a trucker. Don't he's assume, not, Don't assume. by the way, that because somebody calls in that they don't have a job. Okay. I'll give you that. Um, here's the thing. The guy is with a girl who's his girlfriend, orders him around, tells him what to do. Clearly, he needs her to pay his bills or to pay a partial part of his bills. That dude is not... Actually, not. Actually, he said he's got uh, credit to buy his own house. That's what he tells you. He's full of it. Ah. He's so full of it. And the other thing is, um, if he doesn't have a credit card in his name, what man, man, M-A-N, doesn't have a credit card in his own name? He can't get a credit card in his name. How I did mean, he get a mortgage? I don't believe him. I think he, I want him to call back. Well, why do you believe the part that he says he doesn't have a credit card, but you don't believe the part where he says he got a mortgage? Yeah, because the, the things that he's saying, uh, that you know, it just it doesn't it doesn't add up. Clearly, it doesn't add up. I mean, he doesn't have a credit. What card. What if it does? What if everything he said was true? I want him to call back and ask him some mortgage questions. What if? What if paper? everything he said was true? Then I'll eat the, my I'll eat my my. Uh, but if it were, you have to understand. We are doing we are doing a radio program where anonymous people call in and speak. I don't know whether your name is Stephanie or I don't know if anything you're saying is true. Okay, we can only go on what people tell us. I know, but it really doesn't. Take so a your conversation to has out. to be based. Your conversation has to be based on what the person says, not what you think they should have said. Yeah, but Tom, really, did you really believe everything that guy said? I don't believe everything anyone says because I believe everybody's call comes from their own point of view, not from a position of facts. Oh, I don't I believe mean, you any more than I believe him. Well, that's, I, I, that's fine. Um, that's perfectly fine. Well, the point is, I, I, I've been doing this long enough to know uh, that when anonymous people call in, right, Awatuki Sue, when anonymous people call in, uh, they might say anything. Yeah, no, I know. Including you. Right. Right. But, uh, I mean... So I can only base my conversation on what people say. Yeah, but, yeah, I, I don't know. I just figured you were really a lot more intelligent than that. I mean... So now I'm stupid also. Huh? So now I'm stupid also? No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I just, it was like... But it, it is what you snoozer. said. It was a snoozer. I mean, the guy. Well, Donnie, are you a, are you a radio programmer? Are you do you work in the broadcasting business? No, my husband's. Well, that. you're really not in a position to be commenting on that. You're off the opinionated uh, person for somebody who uh, uh, doesn't have any experience in this area. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Here's Dave on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Love your show. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I like how you put uh, Stephanie in her place. That was awesome. Hey, amazing. Cool. Amazing. Arrogance. <laughs> yeah, um, and I, I just wanted to say a few things. It's, you know, not letting your, if you really care about someone, you should let them go out and hang out with their friends. I mean, that's why they are the way they are in the first place. How are you going to go and, you know, it's like you said, you can't expect to change anyone. And if you really like this person to begin with, why would you want to? You know what I mean? It's it's just a matter of being controlling. You know what I mean? It's a matter of trying to have power and control over this person. I mean, that's I mean, why why wouldn't a you know a girlfriend or a wife let their husband or boyfriend go out on a Friday night? It's just one night. I mean, if anything, he should be going out every night and hanging out with his friends. You know what I mean? Well, here's the point: some people like to do that, and some people don't. If a woman is getting married to a guy who needs to go out every Friday night. She needs to sit down with him and say, can I ask you a question? Is this going to continue after we're married? And then when he says yes, she needs to say, well, uh, that's not going to work because I like to be home and I'm raise a family and you want to be out with your friends. So I'm leaving. Yeah. Now that's yeah, a mature that's... way to handle it. Right. No, totally. You know, and, and maybe, it's, you know, maybe I spoke... I spoke out of uh, out of turn that maybe not necessarily, you know, it's a controlling thing all the time. Sometimes you genuinely like that person. You genuinely like that person. You want to spend a lot of time with them. That's understandable. But, you know, if you really care about a person, you should let them go out and have fun and, and you know, g get away. And um, it's, it's just funny because I have friends who, 
you know, they, they're in relationships. I'm like, you need to get rid of this woman. She's controlling. And they're like, no, and they get mad at me. And uh, later on, I, I have this one friend in particular who uh, I warned him all this time, and uh, he kind of shut me out and just hung out with his girlfriend. And then um, they kind of split up. They got back together afterwards. And uh, what do you think happened? What do you think happened with this guy and his girlfriend after they broke up? I have no idea. They, they hooked up. Guess what happened after they hooked up a couple times? Guess. Well, got married? That could happen. Got married? No. Worse than that. No idea. Well, maybe not. Worse. She got pregnant. That is the worst thing that could happen. She she got pregnant. She trapped him in. I knew this kind of stuff was going to get... You know, I knew this was going to go down. I knew it was going to go down. And, uh, you know, God bless him. You know, I, I love him to death. But sometimes, you know... My friend, he just he just lets girls just you know walk all over him, and now he's in this relationship with this one girl, and um, he lives with her, and you, you can see the difference like now between uh, you know between now and um, you know how it used to be before they lived together. He's he's quiet, he's he's so reserved. We're going out, he's like, um, could, yeah, could I get this, please? Oh, thank you, thank you. You know, he's scared, just like uh, just like Sergio there, and you know it's because he, he lives with this girl. And he constantly has her, like, you know, telling him what to do and getting in his face and just being rude to him. And just, he has, he has to be, like, really mousy and quiet to avoid any kind of confrontation with her. You know, and it's just like, I mean, but, you know, he's in the process of uh, handling his business. So, thank goodness. But, you know, it's just a sad, sad situation. You know what I mean? Well, uh, I agree. We're hearing about a lot of those. So, thank Yeah, go on. No, no, go ahead. I, was, I just want to say that was it. All right, Dave. Thank you for that. I appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. Let's say hello here to um, Nicole. Nicole, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Um, you're a little out of my ear on the, on the earbud. But uh, anyway, I just called to say that, um, no, they don't change. I don't mind his eyes, you know, night out, but 4 and 5 in the morning is a little extreme. But what I really wanted to say was I was with somebody for a very long time, well over 10 years. And they never changed. And yes, after five years of dating, we got married. And I thought, you know, oh, if he loves me enough to marry me, oh, you know, he'll change, he'll change. Well, no, he didn't. And yes, I finally divorced him. And now he's got this new girlfriend. And lo and behold, He's changed. He doesn't do all the things that he did that pissed me off. How funny is that? She must be better in the sack than you. You know what? She's uglier than sin, but she must be. And, Bottom and line. He, he begged me, you know, crying, please come back, please come back. And I said, no way. Well... Uh, again, I think that uh, for you to ever think someone's going to change for you is is ridiculous. And and by the way, people don't change for other people. Even if he's changed now, he's changed because he wanted to change. Uh, I guess so. But but how long will that? You do? Yes, you do. Oh oh oh! Wait a minute! I didn't hear it. She cursed. You're out. Which one did she say, Art? I didn't hear it. Oh. We have zero tolerance policy on this show. She said the S word. Art heard it and rescued us. One mistake and you're out. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Annie is listening to our show on the online stream from Olympia, Washington. On the Tom Likas show, hello. No, that's not her. This is her. Hello. Hello? Yes. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, I want to say, for one, thank you with, for everything you've done with the Awataki Sue. I think that's fantastic. You guys helped them thank out you. so much. Yes. Um, I have to say about these women is um, my fiancé and I are getting married August 23rd here in a few days, and um, we've been together for eight years. And, um, you know... He goes out and he enjoys his time with his friends and his friends come over to the house and I don't ever have a problem with that because 
his friends are respectful, and they're glad for the chance. You know, they're surprised that they're let, you know, your girlfriend lets us come over and hang out. And I'm, I don't understand why anybody would think that they have a reason to say, no, that person can't come hang out or, you know, or what. So, but what I realized growing up is that when we first got together, I was young and very immature and stupid. And I thought the same thing. Oh yeah, I can change him. Oh yeah. You know, why isn't he spending all this time with me? And, um, it was, our relationship was terrible. And I love Brandon very much, and he loves me, but at the same time, our relationship was terrible for it. And um, once I grew up a little bit and I realized that we're human beings and we need our space and we need our own time with our own friends, our relationship got a whole lot better. So, you know, these women need to learn to let go a little bit and stop being so insecure because if they love you, they'll come back. They'll come home, you know. So, And if they don't, they'll bang somebody else. No, he do- he doesn't. You know, I trust him, and he went to Reno for um, his his bachelor party, and all my friends. Oh my gosh! And I said, well, if I wasn't if I didn't trust him, I wouldn't be marrying marrying him. So why would I have a problem with him going anywhere and having a great time? He called me, you know, when he needed to, and said, I love you, I miss you, and I said the same. And then he went and had fun, and he came back. So I don't get. Well, it. I'm glad to hear it worked out for you. Uh... You know, I do think some people need to have this conversation before they get married, if they insist on getting married. And if they don't like the other person, don't marry them. The Tom Likas Show.